Okay, I'm going to um, just load my cup up with a lot of um, leftovers. Uh, and I thought I'd film it just in case it turns out a brilliant. I had a little bit of gold metallic left in the bottom of this. There are all the uh, little Montmartre metallics. Um, yeah, my supplier will be at the bottom if you're in Australia. I'm sorry, you can't get... Well, you can get the Montmarts elsewhere, but my supplier for Australian products is there at the bottom. Um, so that was the silver, then this is the bronze. I'm just gonna, just getting rid of some paints I have sitting here. This is the, um, I think it was basically just white with a hint of uh, orange in it. So they're sort of all like autumny colors. That I've got left but I just thought I will do this load all these colors then this is the bronze got bronze copper silver and the metallics so we'll see what we get there's the whole lot I'm gonna need another cup for this so I'll start with that cup Yeah, just this. I've got the, what I'm going to pour on is the recycled card I get from eBay. Um, if you just put on the eBay search at the top, a uh, recycled card at least 750 GCM because otherwise it'll bow. And in fact, the thicker the better if you can get the 850 or 950, I think it's GCM, is um, better. Okay, and go through these colours. Where are we? So yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of these. I'm going to do a, um, I think I might just do a flip cup. I don't, actually that might not be a good idea because these are quite thin and the flip cup might um, just go all everywhere. So, let me think as I'm pouring what I'm going to do, or I might just do the um, ring pour. I always try to pour most times down the side of my cup. I just find that pouring down the side of your cup uh, gives you opportunity, let your paint less opportunity to go muddy when you're just pouring it in there. Now my pouring medium and my um, amounts of paint, uh, pouring medium per paint will be in the drop down box to give you um, what I use as my pouring medium in this particular one and the silicon I use. This has uh, got silicone in. I think I actually didn't put any silicone in the um, metallics, not that I remember. Okay, I've got two nice cups falls there. That's used a bit of my paints up. I've just got a few more to use, but that can wait till tomorrow. Um, okay, we might do um, the cup kissing method, where the cups, your cups kiss each other as you pour. So we might give that one a go today. Okay, so here goes nothing. Just pouring the cups together, basically so they're almost touching but not quite. There's some delicious colors in there. Delish, delish. Take it higher. Oh my goodness, look at those colors. It's all right, I'm talking to myself now. I'm gonna just take the one up, do a bit of a ring pour in that, see if it makes any difference. Obviously doing the ring pour, you're mixing the paints as you're doing this circly motion. Not really ideal, but. Might come up with a masterpiece. I do like the colors. 
can only be able to lift this stick to my pedal pad because I'm trying to reuse pedal pads over again. Uh, trying to be a little bit um, environmentally aware. So this is obviously slipping all the way over this board pretty easily because the paints were pretty thin so I'm not sure of the success that I will have with this because the paints were quite thin but we just give it a go hey just try see what we come up with but I do want to uh, do the effect where I torch it and get the 3d look in it some cool effects usually come out of that I'm not going to worry too much about the very corners because this is quite runny paint so it's really um, slipping around this particular recycled card really too easily for this particular style so if you were doing this yourself I would not do the paint as thin Ugh. okay And it's getting like a really nice wood effect on it <laughs> maybe um, nice to leave as is when you've covered the I have got more paint in there I could pour but there is so much on the canvas that I'm just going to try and stretch it out okay so that is actually quite glimmery shiny and as you see this is coming into the sort of the cloud effect um got a bit of paint i will use up off the cover my corners uh, okay now see i've got half cup but that's just too much to pour on there so i will pour that on another canvas probably be nice over something black with a black or a uh, navy background but I'm going to try and bring up like some cloud effect in there okay come on torch not sure because I don't like I said I don't believe I put any um, silicon in the metallics at all Kind of looking more like a piece of timber the colors the rich lovely rich metallic colors okay i'm getting some triangles i'm getting some triangles and stars cute so if you wanted to do this style and that you didn't want any of what i'm doing now then obviously you just stop and do the um cup kissing pour i love that actual center that's really effective okay i'm not doing any more with that bring it up for you to have a look at just try a little bit something different remember they were left over so I really um, I like I mean leftovers usually can create some of the best work that I've done and usually things that I don't mean to do cause the best outcomes to so that's uh, it's kind of looking like a log <laughs> looking like a log but that's your twin cup kissing I will put some photos up when it's just just left to do its own thing because I'm sure it'll actually change all on its own but it is actually a really nice effect I've got a bit of cloud in there I've got the few cells but like the triangles and stars I've got the stars so I'll put some photos up at the end of this video so you can see what the dry version is okay thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel very very appreciative um, and keep watching my videos and hopefully I'll keep trying uh, up in my game and thinking of something new for you all um, and any suggestions I suppose I can't get back to everybody because it is impossible I, I try to let you all know that I've read your message by um, putting a, a like or a love 
my little love hearts I love love hearts I, don't, I think they the world should have more of those okay thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time thank you